Hello, we are heading home for the holidays. What a strange thing to say because for the first time in my life, I was going to Vancouver as a visitor. Xander and I flew back to Van to visit my family, and over the next 10 days, we did a lot. Welcome to episode 3 of the 20 something diaries. Hello, you guys. We are at the airport and we're going to Vancouver. Xander's busy playing TFT right now. But I got a vintage feta wrap from Starbucks and he got this Thai basil fried rice from Thai Express. And I have to catch up to Gabe. In his game? Yeah. Because I can't Can play with I can't play with him if, if I'm too low. Is your low. level too low? Mm. Anyways. Oh! Mm -hmm. Careful, bro. Catch you on the flip side. Good morning. It is so early today. Okay, not really. I'm just tired because yesterday Xander and I flew in from Toronto um, and we are finally in Vancouver. So excited to be here. But this morning I have a Korean language exam and it's about two hours long. So if you guys are new here and you don't know, I've been taking this Korean language class for the past 14 weeks and I've been taking it with my friend Nicole. We'll see if we move on to level two and then after this exam We got a day of festivities. So we're gonna be having dim sum with my family We're going to Neptune seafood, which is my family's favorite dim sum place and then we'll go from there We're probably all gonna take a nap afterwards because the MSG hits hard Hello. We are back in the hood and we're gonna set up this Bluetooth here our neighbor so normally i don't get to drive this car because i was not insured before but because i have an ontario license now i can just drive this and i also don't live here anymore but top songs <laughs> are you sad yes yes ontario toronto and the big to ride all right Sometimes I need you to sing a phone. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, break it up. Mmm. Oh, wow. Hold on, that's good. And later today, we're gonna have Korean barbecue with Nathan and Tanya. But this was my old favorite study spot when I was at UBC, and they made it really pretty with all the Christmas lights. coffee with Kiera. We went to Fonaway Cafe in Burnaby and I'm on my way to Richmond to pick Kat up and then we're gonna pick up Xander before going to Suda for Korean food tonight at Brentwood. So it's a lot of back and forth driving and 
not ideal driving conditions because if you guys don't know, whenever it snows in Vancouver, the whole city just shuts down. There's barely two centimeters of snow, not even. There's like no centimeters of snow. It's just slush right now. And people are driving 20 kilometers an hour. It's driving me crazy because I've driven a few times in Toronto and people just go a lot faster there. They're just much more confident on the road. I'm not saying I'm a good driver and Xander can attest to that, but I think I drive faster more time to spend together in the car super grateful to be able to drive being back in the city haven't seen my girl cat since september i picked up some mochito donuts earlier there are three christmas flavors eggnog cheesecake gingerbread chai and strawberry matcha those are the three new flavors and they have the original black sesame and salted brown butter Oh my goodness, that's my absolute favorite flavor. Got it when they only had a few boxes left at 1.50 p.m. today. So we're gonna actually eat some of that together later, but just waiting for them. It smelled delicious. Anyways, we had to get some because Xander has never tried Mochito. We only have one Mochi donut place called Isabella's and it's pretty good, but Mochito is just on another level. Every single week there's new flavors. Last week they had Bow About and then they had like, I don't know, some Frosted Flake, Crunchy Taro flavor. Oh, sounds so good. There's that. So it's gonna be a full day of eating. <laughs> So how does it feel being uh, in front of a camera all the time? You know, she's not as uh... Not as aggressive? <laughs> she has some other friends that are much more aggressive. More aggressive? So, oh, yeah. really? I, what? I thought Kat was like aggressive I've aggressive. Learned to be you more think aggressive. I'm aggressive? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm kidding. Well, I'm one, take, one, one, take one, 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 Oh wait, I'll save this, I'll save this. I can't. I said, if I eat those two, I'm gonna be so full. Taste the cheesecake. I don't taste that. I don't taste that. There's like Good. this mochi donut place in Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's like the only one. But oh, I, well. I still think mochito is like superior. It's because every week they have new flavor. I think San Diego has the best, in my mochi opinion. Donuts. Yeah, I had way too much. Mochi nut. Mochi nut? It's called mochi nut, yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh, it's super greasy. Try another one. This is Hakzima. Oh, okay, I'll try one of these. Oh, black sesame definitely needs to get heated up. Is it? This is one is not too, mm. <laughs> as he eats it. Mm. <laughs> that, it's Dima. less, less uh, chewy. Dima. It's very nice flavor. Okay, bye, Kat. Bye. Thank you. Wrap Christmas presents. This massage gun for my brother. I think he will enjoy it. Oh my gosh, I literally taped down my hair. Ugh. Always happens. Sorry, Nathan. So this year I wanted to support more small businesses. And so one of the main places that I got gifts from was from Chandler Honey. This company was founded by a gal named Teak Chandler. And I first met her in Sauter. She was one of the academic coaches. I don't know if she remembers me, but I always thought she was really cool. And then she founded her own company because her family has a honey farm. So I bought some honey. I got honey for my mom and my two aunts first. I got the creme brulee honey for Auntie Lena. I got her the lemon and ginger honey. She likes tea and so I think lemon and ginger is the best combination for just fragrant tea. I also got her David's tea so it's gonna be a really good combination. Then I got three jars of honey for Auntie Yoko because she loves to cook and experiment with different flavors. And so I got her this Christmas medley kit. This is the apple pie 
gingerbread and creamy chai honey and i think she can do so much with that i'm sure uncle steve will love it too he loves sweet things i think this is perfect for them to be honest and then another small business that i wanted to support was my friend's digital well she's in collaboration with another printing company. look for deals huh your mommy going looking for deals? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, my friend Karen, she has this small business. <laughs> she does digital work. I asked her to draw a picture of my brother and sister-in-law. It got printed on this tote. So this is for Tanya. Finally, there's this Toronto candle company called Spark. And I got a custom candle for Xander. And there's a picture of us on it and also a custom scent. So... Starbucks Reserve. Uh, we're gonna be heading to Spotopia. How did he get? You're just in time. Oh, yeah. perfect. <laughs> oh, it's cold out there. I like my uh, Canucks cat. Very stylish. Yes. <laughs> I've heard uh, it's really good though. So. Cat introduce us to it. Mmm. <laughs> 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 On your right hand. That sums it up for part one of our trip in Vancouver. Many more food adventures and catch-ups ahead. See you in the next one. Bye.